one of the major reasons we are in the States this time, one of the major reasons we are still living in the Americas till this day is this wedding celebration. This is a story of love, of life, and of celebration. And we are so happy to be present for the wedding of my sister and brother-in-law. <laughs> Through the pressures of the present and uncertainties of the future, I promise you my faithfulness that I will still be this dead space. Hey, welcome back to the channel. We are surviving America. Ooh. <laughs> Trying to. This is day number one. That's what's up, man. We had a, a big agenda, but at the top of our list uh, to do while we are here is to... Get that COVID vaccine. Yeah, man. It was kind of easy to get signed up. Yeah, real. it was really convenient. Like, we literally scheduled this appointment 15 minutes 15 ago, minutes ago yo. Yeah. <laughs> to get this vaccine. Now we're sitting in the Walgreens parking lot getting ready to walk in. Ready for part one of our vaccination. Oh, yes. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. So anyway, you guys, um, this is all about Surviving America, and this is the first part of Surviving America. You ready to go survive this vaccination, gal? <sighs> Let's do it. Let's go. I uh, just checked in, um, works it online, and then that's what they ask you, like your address and all that kind of stuff, but they still did, and all that kind of good jazz, so told them that I live here <laughs> in Florida. I feel nothing. I hope I don't like, like again, grow an extra limb or get some kind of weird ass disease or something, um, but also no, I don't want to be part of the problem. And um, if the planet is fighting something, I need to do my part, I'm going to do my part. So we just got our first dose Number of one. the COVID vaccine. Mm -hmm. No big deal, damn near painless. It's like yeah. a mosquito bite. As soon as we sat down to get the shot, it was done in five seconds. Yeah, man, so really no big deal at all, man. Uh, we'll see what happens with these uh, reactions. Uh, we'll keep you guys posted. Professional, <laughs> man, I didn't even feel a pinch. Here you go, hold on. Thank you. This is how you know you in Florida, y'all. It has been a hot minute since I've been able to get some natural hair care products whatsoever, so I'm really excited to be going to the hair store, the beauty store. Yay! <laughs> Uh, Cause I gotta restock up on some things. Y'all, you just don't understand how good this feels. There are just some things you can't get abroad. And honestly, if I had the space, I'd be bringing back a whole suitcase full of products. care products surviving America <laughs> surviving America means surviving all these damn TV stations I completely forgot all the sh this on here man my goodness I do love Star Trek next generation though Golden Girl Star Trek mash all this mess man and that late night TV <laughs> are you balding <laughs> Man, if you are like insecure, late night TV will make you want to kill yourself. <laughs> Real talk, man, no cap. Oh man, my goodness. Um, but if you are having suicidal thoughts, man, get help, get help, that ain't natural. Especially when it's a side effect of some medicine you take for baldness. <laughs> my gosh. Rectal bleeding, eyeball bleeding, may cause uh, suicidal thoughts. Look, man. USA ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. I'm just saying. But for real though, if you're having some suicidal thoughts, get you some help. It really is a good life. Whatever you're going through right now is temporary and it will change. That's the nature of feelings. Feelings change. Whatever you're going through, you're going to be all right. Believe. This 
some smoky garlic in there too. So. Well, I already got it in the thing. I got yeah. the garlic. I have the garlic in the old bay. Hey, what's up, people? It is the 4th of July. <laughs> Happy birthday, America. That's what's up. Happy birthday, America. We are in the States, if you have not guessed it. Yep, and we're actually spending the 4th with my family in Florida. That's right, man. They showing me a good time, money. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a really good time. This is my favorite holiday, favorite time of year, mostly because I get to blow up stuff. Um, and it's a good time. When I lived here, uh, I would shut my block down and, and just celebrate with my neighbors and all the kids in the area. Um, mm -hmm. But this time with April's fam and having yeah. a great time. And actually, it's been a minute since we've been back in the States for this holiday. So Maybe like three We're years. It. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's been three years since we celebrated America's birthday in America. But in Florida, it's also hurricane season. Right? And, you know, we've been here for about a week and it's been like pouring, raining just about every single day. Been soggy uh, all week. Booming tropical cool storm slash hurricane out mm -hmm. in the Caribbean. So no barbecue for your boy. Yeah, we really didn't know like what the weather was going to be like. Yesterday rained all day and thunderstorms. So we're thinking, you know, it's probably better to have an alternative because we don't want to be rained out while the we're rolling. The alt though. The alt though. Yeah. That alternative though. Oh. Threw down with seafood. Man. It was so good. It was really, shoot, it is delicious because it's more in there. I got the itis right now. I'm in recovery mode. But I reserve the right to go back to <laughs> thirds or fourths right about now. That's the goodness, y'all. Right here, right there. But what else did you go for? Go in the um, kitchen for? They got your boy's favorite, man. Lemon pound cake is my is, is close Rondell's to my heart, near and dear and true to tonight. me. It is my kryptonite. I break any diet and that stuff is around. And this one was delicious, so it was worth the calories. Yeah. Uh, but that's what we're up to you guys. We're about to lay back and watch these fireworks out here in a couple of hours. Yep. Um, hope you guys are staying safe. From the Yard Bros to you, blessings y'all. This is my sister, Ashley. Uh, one of the main reasons we came to the States was to celebrate her and my brother-in-law's nuptials. So we're really excited to be here with you guys. Yes. Um, but I'm the one who gave birth okay. to both of them. That's Madre. Uh, <laughs> I yes. missed him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we're assembling some things for the ceremony. We're assembling bouquets. DIY bouquets. We're going to customize them, make them for my bridesmaids because it's efficient and I can make them exactly the way I want. They are doing goodie bags with candy and chocolates and thank you mints. And here's brother in law, the Louis Vuitton Don. Surviving America, day six, you guys. Fourth of July, having a blast. But Surviving America, is turning into a real survival mm -hmm. ordeal. We are hurricane prepping around here. Mm -hmm. Yep, you had to help repair a fence at my parents' house. Yeah, man, also had to dig up a septic tank uh, to yeah. uh, clean out a filter on the septic tank in the wet ground. <laughs> What? In because Florida. it's just been raining, the, the, the yard is here. saturated, so that affected the septic system along with other things, but preparing for um, the tropical storm that recently downgraded from a hurricane category one. We're just monitoring the weather because it's, it's determining a lot of what's happening this week. So that's our update for today, you guys. Six days in, um, but it's, it's it's a lovely family affair. It's been for real, for real. Dug up a septic tank to clean out a filter. Repaired a fence. Walking along the backyard is some galoshes, some rubber duckies, uh, because the backyard is flooded, man. Hashtag house life. Hashtag American life. So that's what's up. We're at the edge of a uh, tropical storm, just beginning. Um, this should be interesting, I'll keep y'all posted, man. So we're gonna be in the crib for the next little day or so, but this is also a part of surviving America. <laughs> yeah, man, uh, we got out early, had a good little workout. Um, 
But we pretty much in the house for the next day or whatever, day or so. Just the beginning. Some nuptials just happening. Manana. Yes, so it's my sister and my brother-in-law. Um, we get to celebrate with them, and tonight is just the rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner. And we're here kind of going through the venue, and the venue is nice. You know, this is nice. They did. A, they got a nice one, mm -hmm. man. So we're really looking forward to the get down, you guys. Are you? I am. I am. <laughs> I am. I am. We're really looking forward to the get down, guys. We have a really good time, uh, and I believe you're going to be there. So see you there. So after the rehearsal, we had the rehearsal dinner at a nice, authentic Mexican restaurant. Of course, we didn't mind at all, but when we took a look at the menu... Aha! The prices was crazy, y'all. We buy Mexican all the time, but we don't spend no $26 for a platter, so we had a little problem. <laughs> we ended up splitting a margarita and just picking from the a la carte part of the menu. And we got full, and there was no shame in our game. Uh, so we're at a wedding with the in-laws. Look at my beautiful wife, y'all. Golly. Just at this wedding having a good time, man. Yeah. Doing a little pre 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 nuptial ceremony. Everybody doing their little shots and getting ready to uh, Right, people are arriving in, taking their seats. It's about to get started, right? It's always a joyous occasion. Um, yeah, man. We'll keep you up.
celebration of love and family was the highlight of our trip, and getting to spend this time with them was priceless. We were able to do all the things we wanted to do, hang with family, visit the places and stores that we wanted to visit, have the drinks we wanted to drink, eat the food we wanted to eat, and just overall have a great time in my hometown. But the road is taking us somewhere new, and we can't wait for this next adventure.